Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon XD. We're going to finish off this room with the scientists. I think these guys want a battle if you talk to them. Some secret battles, in a way. Where you can easily skip these, but... You know I love to train. Our guys are getting pretty close to level 40s. At least some of them. And... The slow training process begins. We're still looking for that water ice Pokemon. Don't forget to comment if uh, you haven't. It'd really help me out. Or I'll just pick a random water Pokemon. It doesn't. It's all good. It's all the gravy. And we got a good matchup right now. Nice, easy, quick kill. I always say kill, I mean knockout is the proper term. Does anyone else do that or is that just me? It might just be me. <laughs> Pin missile. Do some serious damage to Drafferig. What a good move. People don't really like Pin Missile, but on a bug Pokemon it hurts. It really hurts, because you get the same type uh, attack bonus on each hit, which makes it stronger than it actually is. And uh, yeah, really strong. Bug Poison. Uh, we'll both target Phyloplume because she'll survive an Ember. Pretty sure. Got quite a bit of HP, those Violet Plumes. Calm mind, eh? Does Standler have any special attacks? Sweet Sin. The best move that we all use. Why does he even have it? You're like level 30. Get rid of it for like sleep powder, poison powder. Any of the powders, okay? I'm gonna switch my attack here to go like that. Ember, the Violet Plume. She's gonna get knocked out anyways. And we're gonna have to start working on the stamp player anyways. The Reindeer. If I got a Stantler, I'd name him Rudolph. I think you know why. Because he looks like a reindeer. You could literally put a red nose on him and it would literally look like Rudolph. That was a rude move. But Stantler barely hurts, so... We good. Two times. I would use counter, but they always... Never target Fortress. Could use Charm, lower Granbull's attack, is what I was thinking. I think just knocking out the Stantler would be a good choice. Stomp. Probably his best move. I don't know what kind of move Stantler even like learns. I'd be curious to try to use one. I got no, no hate against it, I would use it. Ooh, bulk up. Really good. We're gonna start attacking Grand Bull now. I guess with Intimidate, that's why Pin Missile did like nothing. Very effective. Trying to go for the flinches, I guess. I don't know. It's not working. Mm. You just knew it was going to happen. Water pulse. This guy used bulk up and used water pulse. The other guy used calm mind and he started using stomp. This guy's got his priorities really mixed up. I'd be dead if he was smarter. 
Get some good experience, I think. Yeah. Six hundo each. Oh yeah. Good stats. Attack and defense is what you want. And special defense every now and then. Hound Doom. Got a better level up. Uh, no. I do not want that. I don't want to smell them, okay? We got moves that hit anyways. Like, you have feint attack. Why would you need... Need order? Or, odor? I don't... I don't get it. Might as well give me whirlwind. Whirlwind. I'm really effing up on these words today. Thanks for the money, bro. Now stop what you're doing. And go join Dairy Queen. Sounds good. Another battle. They tricked me. Oh. This guy, uh... Might be a bit harder. It's one of the dudes I beat, I think. Shed Ninja. It's got Wonder Guard. It only has one HP, but it can't be hit by anything other than something that's super effective against it. Wobbuffet? You dark Pokemon? I'm gonna use Spike. Eh. No point in using spikes again. Just just use that. Luckily we got Houndoom out. I see what his uh his strategy was. Like you can't switch with Wobbuffet out on the field. And if you didn't have anything to attack Shed Ninja, you'd really literally be stuck. You'd have to kill the Wobbuffet, which he wants you to attack him because he's gonna use counter or mirror coat, which in terms would hurt yourself. It was a pretty ingenious little strategy he was going for there. I respect it. Since he's uh, dragon ground, probably just use feint attack. I was gonna do the trapinch earlier in this playthrough, but it takes so long to get a flag on. By that time, the game's almost done. Ooh, Dragon Bath Breath. Alright, the missile. It's gonna really hurt if he uses counter. Encore. I didn't know they could learn Encore. It's a good way to trap your opponent. I'm honestly gonna... We're gonna double attack Wobbuffet here. And I should have used Ember, what was I think? Oh, never mind, that was super effective. That's right, he's like... Is he a like ghost or is he psychic? He's like psychic. Yeah. Wobbuffet is always so confusing to remember his type. Shadow Pokemon, yeah. Could have gotten a Magneton as well. So you got quite a bit of vari variety. Just, this is so late into the to the game that by the time you get this Magneton, I guess he is higher level. Don't get me wrong, it's just, I like to train my own Pokemon. Um, bite. Oh, Fortress has to, I was like, why can't I use Fortress? Shadow Sky. That's a new move. I think it's a damage over time move. We would have saw it against Lunatone, but luckily we caught him really fast. We should be able to get away with another uh, Bite and Pin Missile. If everything goes smooth. To be fair, the Pin Missile might do more. Eh, we're okay. Pin Missile is gonna do nothing since he's steel. 
even if it does hit five. Try to rave. That kind of rave. Oh, that's the one that hits two people. Ow. Sorry, Houndoom. Did not see that one coming. Doesn't even matter who I bring out, I guess. Bad bar. No, the crit. The crit. <laughs> Fortress. He wanted to get revenge. I feel ya. You are forgiven. Magneton fled somewhere. We'll come back, bro. System lever. So you need this for the final room, even if, uh... Even if you did get up there, I could use revive and potion and stuff. But I'm just gonna go heal. Really quick. Always want to be tip top shape for these boss fights. Because uh, we're getting close to the end. It's not that far away. If uh, the blocks reset all the time. Well, I mean, this one does. But if the other blocks didn't reset all the time. I would not be doing this. That way, uh, everybody gets an equal share of the XP. If somebody gets knocked out, then we start going further, and they start getting even a bigger gap in between them, and then it becomes even harder to use them. And we're still training Fortress and stuff. It's a shame Houndoom got knocked out. But he's fine. As soon as he gets Flamethrower, he'll be good. He's gonna learn Crunch soon, as well. Okay. What are our levels looking like? Babbar is looking kind of low. Let's switch back to Gardevoir and Babbar. That looks nice. Let's fight this Buzz, look Buzz Lightyear looking guy. Fuddler. What's up, bro? I'm choke. Golem. 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 Wonder what Bad Bar's next move will be. Well, this one's a pretty interesting fight. Yeah. Defense girl. Psychic actually the golem because Babar won't have any move to attack the golem. And this should do quite a bit of damage to him. The one downside of those really cool Pokemon is that they have no special defense. I don't know why Gen 1 thought that was a good idea to do. They got a fortress, interesting. Seismic toss. So much for my defense girl. Well, uh, we're gonna double attack the same person here. You may ask why, is because I can't hurt Fortress that well, so I'm gonna attack everybody else to get the XP out of the way, and then I'll switch to Houndoom to finish, finish him off. Oh, rollout, yay! wondering when this was gonna happen. We do not need uh, odor. Odor sleuth. Odor sloth. You got a big head. A really big head when you zoom in on it like that. Man time. I used to really like that Pokemon when I was younger. I think because I had a Pokemon card of it. And Mantines are awesome. Wow, that was good. Rapid Spin. We didn't learn Rapid Spin because we didn't need... I didn't think I needed it. Rightfully so. 
Well, I could start doing rollout and uh, I guess trying to psychic the fortress down. Luckily, with the low special defense, it'll do more than half. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Sorry, buddy. Take down. I don't even think he took much damage there. Start the rollout going. The signature move. That already did so much damage on the first roll. 36. It's four special attack. Just gross. Crobat. You could also get a crowbat in this game by catching a Zubat in the cave. And evolving it with friendship and all. So, we'll keep going because... I mean, Dauphin's rollout is just going to destroy crowbat right now. I think it might actually just knock him out one go, even though it's on the second rollout. Just because how much attack he has. Cool. That's why Babbar is a beast, and you use Doth Hands. His rollout is really good on them. It's like it was made for them. We don't even have to heal because we're really good. We'll go around the edges here. There's that dude, which I probably have to face. I'm just scoping out the area. There's a door or this guy. Let's talk to him. Can I go this way? Oh, I guess I can. Gold duck him on top. That was a cool Pokemon. Golduck's actually a really good Pokemon because of the moves it can learn. Learn Psychic, learn Ice Beam, you can learn Surf or Hydro Pump, and then last move you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can even keep a Slash because I think you learn Slash as Golduck. Do you? Maybe not Slash, but. Uh, normal move of some sort is what I'm trying to get at. We're gonna start with uh, I was thinking defense curl but we're good. I think just fury attack the hit bone top and shockwave. It's gonna hurt. I was thinking about using calm mind once and then being able to just one shot everybody. Ooh, the crit. That makes it a lot better. Because I thought Shockwave wasn't going to have enough to knock out the Gold Duck. Why I like Gold Duck is because the stats are all equal. And they're, they're not like the greatest stats. But they're all like equal enough where they're not all bad. So just a good all-around Pokemon. It's not going to do that much since we got intimidated by Hitmontop. That bar's here just to, to mess with them at the moment. I'm gonna use Defense Curl actually. Psychic the Hariyama. The one I'm using Belly Drum or something along that line. Buff himself up. Even though he's slow and I could have knocked him out then. Hey, Mon Top's not doing much. Bet him off. Is that a shadow? It is a shadow Pokemon. They're a pretty good Pokemon, Venomoth. Nothing wrong with them. If you want to rock a shit of Venomoth. You can learn some good moves. Psychic, Poison, Bug. Good special attack. Not bad speed. Mm, that's about it. Reliable, though. Uh, Fury attack the Venomoth, I guess, because it shouldn't knock him out. And 
Psychic hit on top. I think that was the right decision. Because no way Bad Bar is going to knock out Venomoth. Good level up all around. Weeping Bell. Is that also a Shadow Pokemon? Why do I think you're a Shadow You are. Yeah, a lot of these trainers now are starting to have two because we have to get to 81 Shadow Pokemon. We're at like 38 maybe. So that's why a lot of them have doubles. And it makes it a lot harder to catch two of them at once than one. Gives you so many options. That's why this game is a lot of fun. Sucks that we missed. This shockwave, I could reflect on mine. Uh, just shockwave. Try to do some damage to this weeping bell. Shadow mist. I don't mind him doing this stuff. I'd rather not be taking a lot of damage. Babar with his leftovers is having a great time. Oh, Shadow Rave, here we go. Double damage here. Didn't do uh, as much as I thought it was going to do. Just no damage there, eh? That's okay, because I'm going to swap now. You gotta test the waters. So I could probably get away with obviously another fury attack on Venomoth. And then throw a Pokeball. Maybe I should even bring out Jolteon for uh Oh, I spoke too soon. Can't escape now. We stuck. Only two. Darn. I'll well, we'll switch back again. Shadow Rush now going on the offensive. Shadow Rave again. I forget how that move works. job. Really good job, Babar. You monster you. Let's uh, do that and do a Pokeball. Pardon me, I mean Ultra Ball. If you're curious, there's a action command that says call. I'll show you next move. But that basically buffs up your accuracy. So if you ever were fighting someone that had like double team too much and you can't hit them, you can actually buff up your accuracy by calling their name. It's another way to not do a move, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna toss it. Yeah, it's pretty hard to uh catch two of them because you don't want to knock them out they're both wailing on you with these shadow moves that are always super effective it's pretty tough we got them Just magneton got away from us from that uh, crit we're stacking up though Now we're really low and we're far away from the, the heel, so I'm just going to switch because I don't feel like walking down. I could heal them, which 
to be fair. I'm going to use some potions because they don't even sell for much anyways. That way, if we do need somebody, because we're getting into the boss areas. I think that should be good. I'm not even going to use that last potion there. Still got PP ups. X attack if we need. So we can go upwards or we go into that room, I forget. We'll go to the item first. Odds. TM26. Let's check it out. Earthquake. Ooh. Greasy. So we got some really good moves that we can teach people, which we will be doing maybe next episode, depending on uh, what level we are. Pretty sure Jolteon doesn't learn Thunderbolt, so I can safely teach him that, I think. It's just I do not want to mess it up, you know? So I'm just kind of waiting. Shadow Ball is also good. I guess it's alright on Gardevoir. It doesn't have much attack in all ghost moves or attack in this generation of Pokemon. Earthquake is good, but I think Dauphin might learn that. So, I'm trying to hold off as well. We need to give it uh, some moves to our boy Fortress as well. Body Slam would be good. I have the system lever. But you have to battle me for it. Then you have to order pizza and pay for it. And I get all of it. Sounds like a fair trade. And I'll give you the lever. Any for thing, anything for that Zaw. We got a nice uh, type coverage here, which means easy battles. And then it looks like the boss after this will be on the next episode. So definitely stay tuned for that one which will be coming out on the following day. Or if you guys are watching this all on the playlist, then it'll be right available for you. Definitely check out some other playlists I have, now that I have a nice plug-in. Got a tons of video games. And there's only going to be more, so definitely subscribe if you're new. Got daily videos of all kinds. This is kind of a toss-up what to do, I guess just... Oh, your Magic Coat. Does that protect? I forget. What does Magic Coat do? I totally forget. Now we'll never know. That was a good level. Got four on the special attack, that's what we're looking for. I wonder if this guy's going to have a shadow Pokemon. Probably. Rock Slide. That's not good. That's really not good. Us not having water Pokemon kind of hurts right now. Let's just both use Dark Attacks and uh, take him out. Because I do not like him using Rock Slide on us. Could have used the double bite for the flinch. Probably would have guaranteed got a flinch. Ah, barely survived a water pulse. Houndoom might bite the dust if he gets hit by rock slide again. Hey, the flinch. That's what we needed. Okay, we good. Definitely didn't want to get hit by another one of those. It's a very strong move since it hits two people. And it has a chance to flinch on both of them. Pull swine. Camera up to school Pokemon. 
very slow, but uh, makes up for it for its high health and defense and good moves and just awesomeness. It's gonna do double kick, but whatever. Bite, bite will be good. Ember would have just destroyed him, anyways. Doesn't have very much special defense. Big fur ball. Getting some attack on Houndoom is, is pretty good. That means you can give him Hyper Beam at least later on. Which you can buy at the store. So all this money is very good. Mirror B has appeared. Where is that? It doesn't even matter because we're going to end the episode. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And comment a water Pokemon that you think we should use to finish off our team. But for now, see you on the next episode. Take her easy. Goodbye.